morning guys it is sunday and it is meal prep day also it's cold out so i am like all decked out and the buck guys won yesterday so i'm wearing a buck guys sweatshirt my boyfriend went to osu so he got me this beautiful ohio state sweatshirt look at this cute little detailing here <laughs> okay um but yeah it's really cold it's like <laughs> well if you're not from Arizona, you're gonna judge me, but it's 56 degrees, it's really cold. So I'm about to go grocery shopping. I thought it would be fun to do a video today. Um, this is like basically my first full day off carnivore. So if you watched my last video, you saw that I did five days of carnivore, which I intended to do seven, but if you wanna know what happened with that, you can watch that video. Basically, it just wasn't for me. Um, but I'm back on keto and I am doing our meal prep for this next week And I'm just so excited because I really did miss all of my favorite like sides and vegetables and treats I'm not gonna lie um, But I'm using the lessons I learned during my week of carnivore to scale back on the uh, snackery so I'm gonna be going grocery shopping today I'm gonna be showing you what I'm eating and I think it'll be a fun little video. So if you're interested keep on watching <laughs> Okay, so typically we only go to uh, Trader Joe's and Fry's, which is like Kroger if you live in the Midwest, um, or it's, it's pretty much the same as like Publix, any of the local like grocery stores. So usually we go to two grocery stores, but today my boyfriend is studying, so it's just me grocery shopping, and I don't mind going to like all of my stores. I love grocery shopping. I think it's the most fun thing. So we are going to be going to Fry's, Trader Joe's, and Whole Foods. And I can't wait. I love Whole Foods. We're very lucky that we live in an area that has all of them pretty close by. So yeah, I can do them all in one day and it's not too inconvenient. We're probably going to go to Whole Foods first because I'm not getting any produce or anything there. I'm just going to be getting some delicata squash, which they like, I can only find them there. And then I'll just kind of walk around and show you guys my favorite Whole Foods finds. I've got my grocery stuff right here. So I always bring a produce bag. This is pretty small, but like... It'll do for what I'm getting. And then I have this giant Ikea bag that I put all of our other stuff in. So we try not to take any plastic bags home from the grocery store when we grocery shop. And it's really easy. You just tell them no plastic. You can just throw it in the bag. And it's really nice for me because when I go grocery shopping by myself and I want to get everything in, in one trip, I can. It's really heavy. I'm not going to lie. So... Highly recommend getting a really large tote bag for grocery shopping. Yeah, let's go. Right now I've got my little grocery list here. This is our meals for the week. We're doing taco soup, wings with delicato squash, a chicken pot pie, and then Thanksgiving dinner. Um, Thanksgiving was last week, but we were carnivore, so we really wanted to have our own little Thanksgiving dinner. And then this is all separated by protein, dairy, etc., frozen, canned, and vegetables. So let's get after it. This is actually what we came here for. These are the delicata squash I can't find anywhere else. So I showed you pretty much everything I got other than some samples. I got this Primal Kitchen chocolate coconut collagen to try and then I got some Ultima which I love these. I just haven't been taking electrolytes lately so I was thinking about buying another thing but I wanted to try these two flavors before I buy a whole one. But I'm so excited about this because I just got sent the peppermint mocha power creamer and I'm going to put these two together. Oh my gosh it's gonna be so good so these were on sale i grabbed two of these and the bone broth is on sale as well if you're an amazon prime member so yeah good deals all around i'm super excited to try these i'll headed to fries store number two this is where i'm gonna do the bulk of my shopping store number two here we come here's the fruits and veggies check in okay so fries was really busy i wasn't able to take many uh, clips in there, but I'll show you guys what I got when we get home. I think I'm gonna have to skip Trader Joe's for today just because I got some frozen bone broth at Whole Foods and I got a frozen turkey at Fry's and I don't want them to 
start to melt. So unfortunately gonna have to skip Trader Joe's for now. So this is basically what we ended up with. We've got a rotisserie chicken, four pot pie, bunch of veggies, some canned stuff, some eggs. Had to get a cheese grater because we're not gonna use shredded cheese anymore. Got this big old turkey. Uh, yeah, I'll show you guys more inside when I start cooking. All right, it's about noon, I think. 12.02, and I'm home from the grocery store. We did skip Trader Joe's, so that made it a little faster. So, we made a turkey last week, like before Thanksgiving, and we just did one of these frozen turkeys. I don't have like the willpower to be thawing a turkey for days, and then brining it for 24 hours, and then cooking it for eight hours. This is literally a frozen turkey. You, you put it in the oven, for four hours and it's done. And it's really, really flavorful. So get that in the oven and then once it's done and I've like picked all the meat off of it, I'm actually gonna make turkey bone broth. So I'm super excited about that. And I'll definitely include that in here because this is gonna be my first time doing that. And I don't know, I've been wanting to do it and I've just been kind of scared, but this is the perfect opportunity. So yeah, I'll kind of take you guys along with what I'm cooking. This isn't really like a meal prep video, so I'm not gonna go too in depth. I'll let you guys know when I eat my first meal of the day, I'm super excited to try the peppermint mocha nut pods. So I'm probably gonna have a coffee first because let me get this out of the cupboard. I just recently became an affiliate with Power Creamer. So they sent me this peppermint mocha flavored one. And basically just to like explain what it is, it's a blendable keto paleo low carb coffee creamer. So essentially it's made with coconut, uh, coconut oil, grass-fed ghee, and MCT oil. It's keto friendly and it also has, this one has cacao powder, stevia, natural flavors, and it's just really clean. It's a really great option for coffee creamer if you don't wanna use like, I mean, I still use them, but if you don't want to use things like this, this is like perfectly good by itself. So I'm gonna try this mixed with the peppermint mocha nut pod, which is um, a, not a dairy free uh, creamer option. And I loved nut pods when I was doing Whole30. So I'm really excited to mix the two and I think that'll be like ugh, amazing, especially cause it's like, is it December? It's December 1st. Okay, well I didn't even realize it, but it's December 1st. So peppermint mocha is in pumpkin spice is out, but on the DL, it's still kind of in because I drink pumpkin spice all year round. So it's not really a meal, but I thought I would tell you guys, I'm gonna try this Ultima or Ultima. Um, electrolyte drink mix. I'm just gonna add it into some water. This is the lemonade flavor and I've tried a couple of them before. They're really good. Um, I just feel like I don't ever take electrolytes anymore but when I first started keto I took them all the time and I feel like they may have made me feel good especially when I'm like, if I've cheated, I used to use electrolytes the day that I started back on keto just because you're peeing a lot and you're losing electrolytes. So, I don't know. I'll let you guys know how it tastes. It smells really good. It just smells like lemonade. Like, literally Minute Maid lemonade. So. Yeah, tastes like lemonade. I like it because it doesn't taste too salty. A lot of electrolyte powders taste so salty, it's just gross. coffee yet so I'm going to make a little coffee with the nut pods that I just got and the power creamer so I'll show you guys how I plan on making that so I'm gonna use a little bit of sugar-free vanilla 
a little bit of the power creamer, maybe a splash of heavy whipping cream, and then the peppermint mocha nut pods. And I'm going to blend it all together in my Nutribullet. Chicken pot pie is done. It looks amazing. Can't wait to give that a try. Guys, I just tried the first sip. Oh my god. They work so well together. I just, I don't even know what to say. It's like the most perfect peppermint latte, like what you would get from Starbucks or something. And the froth from the power creamer is so creamy and like fluffy. It's just a really nice holiday treat, I feel like. All right, first meal. I'm going to have a big old serving of this chicken pot pie I just made. It looks amazing. All right, so it's about 5 p.m. and our turkey is done. It looks beautiful. I'll show you guys really quick. Wow. She looks amazing, huh? Okay. But I'm going to be following a recipe by sweetpeasandsaffron.com. It's a blog. And this is how she makes her turkey bone broth. I don't have any apple cider vinegar still, which is so annoying. So I'm not going to be able to use apple cider vinegar. Actually, maybe I'll ask Devin to pick some up on the way home. Apparently, my friend Mel suggested this as well because I guess the apple cider vinegar helps to pull the minerals and collagen out of the bones. So it feels like that's kind of important. So maybe I'll wait until he's home with the apple cider vinegar to put it in the instant pot. But I am going to be making it in the instant pot. It looks like you're just gonna put the entire carcass and the wings. Uh, she said she especially recommends using the wings um, because they're a great source of collagen, so I didn't know that. I'm super excited about this whole process. I also have some veggie scraps that I have been saving for this broth, so I'm gonna throw those in there. There's a little bit of squash, a little bit of onion, but there's just a bunch of vegetable scraps I'm gonna throw in there and apple cider vinegar and then pressure cook for two hours all right so this is what i've got out of the turkey carcass quite a lot and then i have some bags of vegetable scraps um that's like half a whole onion um and then this one as well i've just been saving these for a couple days so go ahead and put those in there and next, we're just going to basically cover it in water. I don't know if this is completely necessary, but I'm also just going to add some salt. I feel like that never hurts. Lastly, I'm just going to add a little bit of apple cider vinegar. I believe it said about, I don't know, either a teaspoon or a tablespoon. <laughs> so that's probably good. And I'm going to pressure cook this for two hours. Okay, so I pretty much never go on runs, and it's about 6 p.m., um, but I just got ready to go to the gym and then realized that they closed at 6, so I guess we're going to go for a little run and do sort of an outdoor workout. We'll see. I won't be able to film very much because it's going to be really dark, but yeah, should be fun. This is what our bone broth is looking like. Two hours in the instant pot and then I let it natural release for 20 minutes. And then I let the rest of the pressure release like using the valve. 
So it needs to be strained and uh, basically canned. Guys, I'm so excited. Like, this is just like, I'm really proud right now. Because you can see like the gelatin forming on the top already as it cools. And it just looks so beautiful and so like nutrient dense and I'm just really happy to be able to use more of the turkey and not just toss all of this away like truly get the most out of it before it goes into the trash all right guys it is now about 8 30 and honestly I'm just not feeling very hungry so I think I'm just gonna wrap up this video and probably drink some more water and go to bed sometimes I just don't really feel that hungry especially if I've been cooking all day or if I ate lunch really late and I ate that um, chicken pot pie pretty late. So yeah, I don't force myself to eat if I don't feel hungry. I do know that tomorrow I'll need to eat more just because today I probably didn't eat enough calories. Um, but I was snacking throughout like the cooking process. I was eating pieces of the turkey and eating pieces of um, the chicken and stuff. So yeah, I just don't really feel that hungry. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I think it was really fun to make like the bone broth. That was my first time making that. So that was a fun experience. And yeah, let me know if you guys decide to try to make some bone broth with uh, your leftovers in the future. I would say my biggest tip for that that I'm really glad I did was keeping all of my vegetable scraps in a little scrap bag in the freezer because normally when you're prepping you have all these scraps and you just toss them in the trash or like if you compost which is awesome um just toss them in the compost but if you put them in a bag in the freezer you have them ready when you have a uh, carcass or bones to make some bone broth with and then just toss them in and afterwards you can actually compost everything or throw it out um, so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i had a lot of fun taking you along to whole foods that peppermint mocha coffee Coffee is just gonna change my life it's so good um, but let me know if you guys tried the nut pods they are on sale right now it is December 1st so maybe they'll still be on sale at Whole Foods when you go by and check it out um, but let me know because those are so good and again I highly recommend you guys check out the power creamer website because they have the peppermint mocha power creamer as well and I do have a 10% off code I'll link everything down below um, but I hope you guys have a great week thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one Okay guys, surprise, I'm back. This is my bone broth that I've canned. This is how much we ended up with. I'm gonna put a couple of these in the freezer and then one of them in the fridge. But I also made a bulletproof bone broth latte, I guess you could call it, and I'm going to actually have that now. I wasn't gonna eat again, but I tried a little bit of the bone broth and it's so good, I just really wanted to try it out. So I blend it with a little bit of butter and the Nutribullet, and I added some salt as well. So, good night for real this time, but this bone broth latte thing is, it's insane. It's so good. It's like a warm hug to your tummy before bed. And I'm just like shocked that I like it so much. It's so good, I'm just so proud of this. So.